Hi, I wanted to show you how uh, the Wi-Fi feature works, where you can create a uh, fake wireless access point and deauthenticate any client on an existing access point the same, with the same name, and then lure them into giving you the WPA code. So this is the command line for it. You see, uh, you can give an have interface, jamming interface, and even an internet hosting interface. In the QS, it means just that it will stop when the target has given you the password. So what I have here is um, the program starting up and it's uh, scanning the internet, uh, sorry, the, the Wi-Fi's uh, available. And I have here a, a simple Android device and you can see which kind of, of access points is available right now. And as you can see on my screen, it's almost the same. Um, then I have here two net cards attached. One net card is used for de-authentication, that's that one. And the other one is used for creating all the fake uh, wireless access points. So let's uh, select one of the access points and uh, see if we can get one fake access point up and running. I'll take this uh, TDA gateway here. And you can see, if you look here, there is one client connected right now. Selecting that one. Let's see what happens. It's calculating. And there we are. And then it asks, what kind of scenario? Do you want to have a firmware pop-up saying you need to firmware upgrade your access point? Or what about a connection error? A browser plugin, you can give them an exe file or something like that to install. And uh, the OAuth will show a uh, Facebook login, uh, which looks pretty normal. So let's just select number one, the firmware upgrade. Yep. And what you will see here on this device here is that the Tata Gateway net will appear without encryption. So let's try to, to log on to that one. If I were a client connected, I would have been deauthenticated. As you can see here, two clients have been deauthenticated. And it it says here you can connect, okay. And then what? What happens? Connecting, see, connected, excellent. And look here, client Google something generate two or four. So the next time I go online with this device here, I would see this page. Oh, I have to upgrade my firmware, blah, blah, blah. And there's a license I have to agree on, okay. And can I do that? Fat fingers. And then uh, I have to give the code, and the code is la, 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 so like this, something. Okay. And accept. See what happens over here, is I get the code. La 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 something. There's the code. And then it, it, it closes down the program. So now the poor sucker here didn't get a firmware update and just reconnects to the internet via the normal web uh, WPA and Wi-Fi and um, perhaps doesn't suspect that somebody stole the WPA code.